Welcome to the Wellsteading Podcast. This is episode 367. Today is April 11th, 2022. I'm your host, John Pugliano. I'm also the founder and money manager at investablewealth.com. Well, if you're watching the market today, you'd have noticed that it was another turbulent and very much down day, especially for the NASDAQ. Uh, Even the S&P didn't fare very well. But take a look at the Russell 2000. It was down, but maybe half as much as the S&P 500. And it's been a couple weeks since we've seen these small caps outperforming the large caps. So I think that's a little bit of favorable news in light of unfavorable performance and the increasing volatility in the major markets. Uh, But in any case, I want to reiterate that for now, I still remain optimistic. And I want to point out four stocks that probably nobody's ever heard of. These are stocks that I own. Three of these four stocks have outperformed the S&P 500 year-to-date. Two of them have significantly outperformed the general index. But more specifically, what I like about these four stocks is that they've held up really well in light of the Ukraine invasion. I like their fundamentals, meaning that they all make money. And if you can believe the growth prospects from the analyst, that these companies should continue faring well for at least the next year or more. I think their balance sheets are all financially sound. I think they're likely to perform well as we go into the rest of the year. I'm not going to give you any commentary on these other than what I've already said. If you're interested in them, look them up, research them on your own, and see what kind of conclusions you come up with. Okay, so here they are, no particular order. FlowServe, they do special industrial machinery. A lot of their products are valves and such things that go into the oil industry, but they also serve a huge variety of other industries. They're hugely diversified. That's why they've held up through COVID and why I think they'll continue holding up into whatever environment we go into. Same basic thing can be said of the next one. It's called Viché Precision Group. They do specialty and technical instruments. Mostly what that means is sensors, but again, broadly diversified across all types of manufacturing and industrial applications. The next company is less diversified. It's in the medical device industry. It's called Integer Holdings Corporation. They make a variety of medical devices, primarily used in things like cardiology and urology. So they're narrowly focused in medical devices, but broadly diversified within that sector. Check them out. And finally, the last company for today is Mass Tech Digital. They started out as primarily an IT headhunter. That's still their main line of business, but over the last few years, they've diversified to include not only staffing, but now also IT, services, and data analytics. So again, four stocks most people have never heard of. I own them. They're in my portfolio. They've done well for me through COVID. I think they'll continue doing well through the rest of this year. So check those out, and don't forget to come back for the next episode. Until then, as always, this is John Pugliano wishing you the very best returns.